good afternoon and welcome. This is going to be a quick vlog. We are just off to watch the Man City versus Everton game. We've just managed to get some great tickets off a friend. So we're just racing up to the Etihad now. We're supposed to get there about 20 minutes before kickoff and we're going to get to the box office to pick the tickets up. So fingers crossed we can still get there in time. Uh, but it should be a fantastic game tonight. Two, two teams are still unbeaten. Obviously, we drew at the Etihad last year 1-0 and then beat them at home 4-0. If we can have any of them results tonight, I'm going to be a happy boy. What about you, Josh? What? What score do you reckon it's going to be tonight? I don't know. I've been watching that city. Yeah, well, they won 2-0 against Brighton last week, um, but they should have scored a lot more than that. Um, but then we're a lot better than Brighton, so you never know. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, we will see um, Sigerson, our new signing from Swansea. Hopefully, he'll be starting, or at least come off the bench. And more importantly, we get to see Wayne Rooney back in an Everton shirt. Um, obviously, we haven't got our Everton shirts on. The reason, the reason for that is the tickets are actually going to be in the Man City end. Yes, I know. So, we've um, had to take our shirts off because we did have our shirts on. Um, so hopefully... I was still in my pyjamas all day. Yeah, because you've been lazy. So hopefully, yeah, anyway, it'll be a good game and we don't get found out sat in the Man City end. I told Josh he's not allowed to cheer. Because um, especially if... Yeah, but then the, then the people in the Man City people will be like, they're so weird because... Well, no. Did you, I'll, I'll show you the clip. I'll put the clip in the vlog um, tomorrow when I edit it, or tonight. But there's a clip of... A, bright, a Birmingham fan when they play Burton away on Friday where he jumps up to celebrate the Birmingham goal and then was like oh bugger I'm in the away end I shouldn't be at the home end I shouldn't be celebrating um, so I will put that in the vlog but yes you can't do that Josh so as you say we're racing on the Man City people think that we're really weird because we didn't cheer if they scored I could just say you're watching football so I just say sit down I want to see the celebration We'll see you at the game. did manage to get some seats uh, they did tell us it was sold out but uh, they searched everywhere to find us some seats and we we're in the family stand on the very back row there's nothing behind us and the pitch just behind us there I'll try to get the lights to stop shining but the goal is just there and that is right where way we're in the sport and the other side as well We got here about one minute before, well, one minute after people have come to get us. We got, we have to do a 360 to get to our seats, but we're like over there. No, we were downstairs, but then it didn't tell us that we needed to come upstairs, so we went all the way down there, come all the way back to come up the stairs to come in to eat our seats in the first year. And then we had to run around to get to the box office.
got it. Who oh, we have just got back in from the game. Absolutely fantastic time tonight. Um, we'll say thank you for Man City Football Club. I know we did have the vouchers for the auction that we won, but it was supposed to, they were supposed to send the tickets in before then. We've turned up on the day. They told us there was no seats available, but she did her best and she actually got some fantastic seats. Um, we were on the back row on the family stand and we could actually just stand up there, got raised seats and everything. It was absolutely fantastic view. The stadium is magnificent. And more, more importantly, we drew 1-1. Fantastic. If I, I would have took that before the game, 1-1 with Man City. So, yeah, definitely would have took that. Um, maybe we should have pressed on a bit more when we were 1-0 up with playing against 10 men. We kind of sat back, but we actually did really defend well. Whether it was a tactical decision by Ronald Koeman that failed, the fact he, he took a centre defensive uh, centre back off and put two cams on, I think what he was trying to do is actually put them a bit under a bit more pressure because they were just hitting us and we were just going on the break. It does prove that we do need another striker though, because uh, Dominic Calvin Lewin was absolutely phenomenal tonight. The amount of running that kid did tonight was brilliant, but I think we do need a bit more support for him, for, for him. and I think we do need a bit more legs in midfield where the Sig I don't think Sigerson, uh, Sigerson's got the pace Rooney's not got the pace and Carson doesn't seem to have the pace the only one who seems to do it is um, Tom Davis when he plays up there and obviously we've got Schneiderlin and Idrissa Guy um, in front of the back more back five potentially it could be back three back five the way their wingers play um, nobody's really going to get through Man City with the, the amount of possession they had they couldn't break us down because of the way we played I'll tell you something though to watch the likes of David Silver live. Absolutely phenomenal. That that guy is absolutely brilliant on the ball. Some of the passes he made tonight were brilliant. Uh, Bernardo Silva, they've just signed from Monaco. He came on in the second half. Looks a really promising player for them as well. So we'll have to watch out for him. Um, some of the people I was a bit disappointed tonight was um, De Bruyne. I think De Bruyne is a really good player. But there was a part in the first half where Pickford distribution wasn't the best and he was about 30 yards out but he got an open goal and he ended up passing it I don't know what he was doing then all he had to do was just stroke it into the empty net and he would have scored and made it I think that would have probably made it 1-1 because we'd already scored by then um, but yeah we um, Rooney did score right in front of us as well and it was so frustrating not be able to jump up and cheer Rooney's goal but it was great to see him uh, the new third kick looks absolutely fantastic as well so uh, so that looked really nice. Um, but yeah, we are having to try and uh, calm ourselves down and not to cheer when we went 1-0 up. Absolutely phenomenal experience. Um, hopefully we'll get to a few more games. And if you want to see some more vlogs from us going to the games, just send us comments, hit the like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.